My name's Alan Steinfeld, and I do a program called New Realities, which is about waking up to this connection of who we are with the rest of the world, the planet, the interdimensional beings that we are. And one of the things that really keys me into the fact that we are so synced up is when synchronicity happens, when boom, you're in the right place at that moment, and everything seems to gel. So I had a very interesting story with my friend Michael here, where um, synchronicity seemed to be tuned into the moment. So um, I, met, I know Michael for about 20 years, 25, maybe 30 years, right? 50, no. We're losing count. 30, at least 25 years. He's hardly ever been to my apartment. One day I had a book I wanted to give him. So I said, okay, come over to my apartment, pick up the book. When we're in the apartment, I get a phone call. And it's like, I always, as I say, they say, is Ted Jazz here? I say, no, Ted's not, Jazz isn't here, but there's a Michael Jazz here, which I thought was kind of strange since he's never in my apartment. Someone's asking for someone with the same last name. So I say, no, there's a Michael Jazz here. Do you want to talk to him? And then I take the phone and it's my cousin's wife's sister. I have no relation to her, but <laughs> She had been in touch with my cousin Ted about getting a job with the U.S. Embassy, with the Foreign Service. And I didn't get it right away because uh, I'm not related to her and I haven't seen her that much. But I knew when she said she was Maxine's sister, well that's my cousin Mark's wife, that uh, she knew me and it came to me. But you said to her, wait, this isn't Ted, this is Michael, and then how do, you, how, do I, how do you know Ted, your cousin? Right, well, here's what happened. Yeah. She dialed Ted's number, 4212-473-3688. Alan's phone number is 212-473-6388. She reversed one number. I hadn't been in Alan's apartment for maybe two years. But you have never actually really been there much. Not, not for very He's long. there five minutes, the phone rings when this woman reverses the number. She reversed one number, which was my cousin's number. And I hadn't seen him for about 30 years. I had uh, visited his family there from New York. I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And uh, I think that after my visit there, um, Let's say my behavior as a child was not all that enjoyable. Do we have to and go so, into that in this story? Well, we don't have to, but uh, <laughs> that's why I hadn't seen him for 30 oh, years. Oh, that's why you yes, hadn't seen him. Oh. And uh, so I, I took that number and I called him and I said, this is your cousin, Michael. Mm -hmm. And about three weeks later, we met and uh, we instantly became friends. Mm -hmm. I had a picture of my father because when I saw him, he looked exactly like my father. He copied the picture, sent it to his parents, and they were stunned. And we've been great friends ever since. And as it turned out, about two years after we started hanging out and had our friendship, he took a job in the U.S. Embassy where he spent most of the last eight years in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, but it never would have happened if he didn't come to my house for two seconds. And if she hadn't reversed two numbers at that exact moment. Mm. So there you go. So Ch I got my cousin back <laughs> 30 yeah. years later. But it just Great. shows you that, you know, there's a higher force working to conspire for us, not just against us, but for us. And that's why every moment there's a synchronicity happening if we notice it. Sometimes they blast us in the face, boom, there it is. But if you look for it, it's every moment.